Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another WD2K22 video here today in Universe Mario today, focusing on the first DLC of WD2K22 that's just dropped, the Banzai Pack, uh, which focuses and features five wrestlers: Katie Kanzaro, now Katana Chance, I do believe, uh, Umaga, Yokozuna, Omas, and Rikishi. So yeah, five massive superstars, well, four massive superstars, and Casey Kanzaro, which fair enough. And today. We're going to look to try and find out which is the best. So I've got into universe mode here, as you can see. And uh, I, I've moved everyone over to Monday Night Raw. As you can see, take my word for it on most of them. You Marga's here. Everyone else is here as well, I promise. And then if I go to the calendar and I edit Raw and I show you the power rankings, I have set the WWE Championship division in divisions to be Omas, Rikishi, Umaga, and Yokozuna. And we will simulate forward, and we will see how these four behemoths, these giants, these, you know, big meaty men slapping meat get on. These new subs done the DLC, who will come out on top, who will reign as the WWE Champion. Uh, in addition, Casey is also here on Monday Night Raw, looking to win some championship gold in an incredibly stacked division. So without further ado, I'm going to simulate forward now to WrestleMania 39. We'll do a couple of years, probably. I'll go to WrestleMania 39. And we'll see how they're getting on. We'll, we'll try and find out who is the best superstar from the just released WWE 22, the just released WWE 2K22 DLC bands I pack. And here we are, April week four, Sunday. WrestleMania 39 is here, and it is Yokozuna and Rikishi. Rikishi is the reigning WWE champion. He is standing tall at the moment, going up against Yokozuna. Uh, is Casey on the card at all? Uh, is is the interesting thing to have a look at. She's nice. Maurice, Becky Lynch. Uh, we also have Omas versus Umagado. So all four of the men from this DLC are in the uh, card for WrestleMania 39. Uh, w Championship current champion is Rikishi. And uh, yeah, Umaga won the vacant title. He lost it to Rikishi, the reigning champion. Uh, oh god, let's scroll down to him. Where is he? Right, Rikishi has held it for 196 days. So Margo would have had it for... Oh god. Where's Margo had it for 42 days. I'm not going to try and do the math on that one. 42. It was vacant for a while, I guess. And the end, Margo won the vacant belt and Rikishi is the reigning champion. Uh, whilst... Casey, we'll just go check out Casey real quick. Uh, K, Casey Catanzaro. Yep, no title reign for her as of yet. So Casey's got, you know, another year to kick on at least in this experiment. Whilst for WrestleMania 39, for the four guys in this pack, first of all, for the WWE World of World Championship, Rikishi defends against Yokozuna, and the winner is Rikishi. He retains, he comes out on top, representing the bloodline Rikishi. And standing tall with a championship, just like his sons and his, his nephew. All lovely. Uh, whilst in the Battle of the Behemoths in Uma Umaga and Umas, uh, the winner is Umaga. Umaga coming out on top. And you have to think, after this, wanting to head back to that WWE Championship picture against Rikishi uh, as well. Roman Reigns let down the bloodline, losing to Drew McIntyre. Which, you know what? At the end of the day, an actual possible main event for WrestleMania 39, that one. Which doesn't really usually happen in these videos. But I digress, as without further ado, I'm going to see you forward now to WrestleMania 40, end of year 2 here, and we'll see how these DLC characters are getting on in their second year. And here we are again, April week 4, Sunday, WrestleMania 40 is now here, and it's Rikishi and Yokozuna again for the WWE Championship. Uh, this time Yokozuna enters as the champion, and Umaga and Omas have a rematch as well. And Casey Kanzaro fights Carmella for the Raw Women's title. So the first three matches cover your five DLC characters. And if you're wondering what the main event of WrestleMania 4 will be, it will be Roman Reigns against Sheamus. Roman Reigns looking to uh, get revenge for the defeat to Sheamus' friend Drew McIntyre last year for the WWE Universal title. And come out on top. Uh, the WWE Championship in this last year. Let's have a look at it. Stats. Um, you c oh, God. Rikishi lost it to Yokozuna, lost it to Rikishi, lost it to Yokozuna. So they traded it a few times between themselves this past year. And now Yokozuna is the reigning champion. Rikishi is looking to win it back. 
Uh, whilst Katie Zanzaro is, I'm going to assume, looking to win the Raw Women's title for the first time. Yeah, looking to win it for the first time. Can she? Let's find out. WrestleMania 40, first of all, WWE Championship, Yokozuna defends against Rikishi, and in the end, Yokozuna comes out on top, leveling the series one all uh, in Omas versus Umaga. Umaga gets the win for the second year in a row, and for the Raw Women's Championship, Carmella retains against Casey Catanzaro. Casey Catanzaro is so close. Yet so far, as year two down and over with, what about year three, the final year for this? And what I'll do is we'll have a look at the WWE Championship history, and then I will just put the four men in a fatal four-way match for the WWE title, and we'll see who comes out on top, okay? Okay, without further ado, let's go to WrestleMania 41. And here we are, April week four, Sunday, year three, WrestleMania 40. Won the final WrestleMania. And what matches have we got? Humbo Carrillo challenges. Roman Reigns for the Universal Tile. What a match. Priest O'Neill. We love Kurt Titus O'Neill on the channel. So shout out to Big Fad. Uh, Ronda Shonya. Always happens. Casey Kanzar is challenging Becky Lynch for the Roman Style. Casey has a chance to end as a champion. And uh, Umaga Rikishi mixing it up. Omas Yokozuna. Yokozuna still champion. Like I said, I'll edit into a fatal four way. But I just want to check the title's history, lineage, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, God, Yokozuna lost it to Umaga, lost it to Omas, lost it to Yokozuna. So now all four men have been champion at one point or another. So overall, throughout this experiment, it's been Umaga, Rikishi, Yokozuna, Rikishi, Yokozuna, Umaga, Omas, Yokozuna. So Omas is a one-time champ, Rikishi and Umaga are two-time champs, and Yokozuna is a three-time Champ, but that could change. Um, let's just edit edit matches, and let's make this the fatal four way. Uh, delete that, and then is that what I want? God, yes. Omar Siokazu, not edit, customize a match, and it's gonna be a fatal four way. I won't make it a ladder match. I'm not gonna force them into that. Uh, God, back out, back out, back out. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't really do universe mode much, to be honest. And uh, we'll just jump over to DLCs. Grab Rikishi, the handsome smiling bastard, and we're grabbing Marga. And there are those four superstars, the four main big beefy men of this Banzai DLC pack, and they will compete in this fatal four-way match for Yokozuna's WWE Championship. They've all held the belt at least once. Omos once. Uh, Yokozuna three times and Rikishi and Umaga twice each. And Casey Kanzaro is fighting Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title as well. So, I mean, there's plenty to fight for. Without further ado, let's just start and simulate the show. Humberto Carrillo beat Roman Reigns for the Universal title. That's, that's just brilliant, isn't it? And for the Raw Women's, Becky Lynch retains against Casey. Casey Kanzaro gave a good fight throughout this save. In that Raw Women's title quite title picture quite a bit but in the end she cannot win the title but gives it a good effort you know Casey a bit of the odd one out in this DLC pack but still doing really well here throughout and for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Yokozuna defends against Umaga, Omas and Rikishi and your winner and the undisputed best superstar of the Banzai DLC pack or we'll, we'll say the best male superstar because Casey can't get the match show the undisputed best male superstar of the DLC pack and WWE champion is Rikishi Rikishi joins Umaga as a three-time champ a member of the bloodline reigning supreme Roman Reigns would love it or probably not so much because he lost and so he'd blame Rikishi for trying to steal a swallow however but that is answering today's question the best male superstar of this Banzai DLC pack is Rikishi uh, Yokozuna also doing really well, three-time champ, Umaga a two-time champ, Omos the youngest here, a one-time champ, so they're all doing pretty well. But that's going to be it for today, I do hope you've enjoyed, I'm probably going to do something like this for all the other DLC packs as well. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please leave a little comment down below, let me know who you think is the best, who you think is the best, and who you're looking forward to using the most from this DLC pack, what DLC packs are you looking forward to coming up, let me know in the comments down below, leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, I just want to say, thank you for watching.